Bok the seamster, ready to make a jump. Oh, please do. Welcome to any of my anemic little spells. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy, accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Are you certain you're willing to give your glintstone key to me? My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the academy to resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> Than another? Why, of course. Thank you dearly. With you a blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Or perhaps one day you will pay me a visit? Who knows? I may be a decorated sorcerer by then. <laughs>
You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses the Erd Tree of the Capitol, and the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erd Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. 
And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. You wish to know more of Lady Renala? She is queen, head of the Karian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her, and then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. In the end, Lady Renala was left alone, cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Oh, what have we? Very well, heresy, all thing. Oh, what? very well, heresy, all things. Oh, what? very well, heresy, all thing. Little Calva. 
I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. Beloved, have no fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Ye will be countless born forever and ever. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. This rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria, Renala of the full moon. Majesty of the night she conjureth.
Where did ye flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty, dither not. Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones? To be better born anew. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg? a sweeting, fair and fine. 